Prashi is a paediatrician. She dreamed of getting married and having many children, but God wanted her all to himself in a virginal consecration according to the Cistercian order, but continuing to live in the world. Her vocation was tested, not accepted by her family, especially her father. For years, Prashi lived this particular vocation in the secret of her heart, but now it has finally been revealed and proclaimed as a path of ordinary holiness. In the world, but to live a very hidden life, to live discreetly, to live secretly, but yet to be his um, hidden instrument in the world. And while I was discerning this vocation, I discovered the vocation of secular institutes or consecrated secularity, where one is given to God in the fully consecrated form of life, but lives in the world in a hidden way. It lives as leaven in the world to bring um, to the people of God, the person of God, to live with the heart of God in the heart of the world. And I loved it and it felt like home. On July the 22nd at Latron Monastery near Jerusalem, Prashi entered the Cistercian family, taking the vow of chastity according to the order. This was a historic moment because until now there had been no such lay consecration in the Cistercian order. The ceremony was held in the monastery chapel and was presided over by the abbot of Latron, Gene Haskoy. It was a simple rite in which Prashi asked God's mercy for her entry into the Cistercian family as a consecrated virgin, continuing her mission in the world. She received the Book of the Rule of St. Benedict and delivered her request in writing, receiving in her hands an icon of the Annunciation, a symbol of Mary's availability to God's plan. In the different institutions seculars that exist in the United States, she has not been able to recognize... In the various secular institutes that exist in the United States, she could not recognize herself. Always guided by the Holy Spirit, we thought that perhaps our Cistercian order, our Cistercian family, could welcome a consecrated person who would be in spiritual communion with us. Perhaps the Spirit is prompting us to welcome consecrated persons who live in the world but maintain Cistercian spirituality. This has required great discernment. La spiritualité cistercienne et ça demandait aussi beaucoup de, de discernement. Prashi compares her vocation to the tassel of Jesus's cloak, which served to touch and heal a woman suffering from hemorrhage. A small and hidden tassel, but at the service of divine mercy. And what made the tassel so effective is that the tassel was always tethered to Christ. It was always connected to Christ. And the other end was free to go wherever the wind or the spirit took it. And I said, that's what I want to be. I want to be Christ's tassel. I want to be tethered to him and free in the world. And uh, I said, I want to be this tassel. I want to be small, hidden, and preferably stylish. And so with, and every day I am learning, I am learning 